Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn Weight. Today the topic of our discussion is the hormonal control of the lipid digestion in the small intestine and the other pathways through which the lipid goes. So simply there I will told you the mechanism how the lipid is digested and the dietary lipid get absorbed in a human body. So starting from the stomach, you can see the diagram here is showing the stomach. In the stomach, when the lipid is ingested from the mouth, it go to the stomach, and the uh, actual digestion start in the stomach, where the enzyme you call as the gastric motility increase and the enzyme cholecystokinin from the blood that is actually released from the pancreas. All the cells, eye cells present the duodenum, jejunum, ileum, or the small intestine are secreting the cholecystokinin enzyme. This enzyme go to act on the stomach. Why? Because there is a enzyme that is the endocrine, and it can go through the blood to the stomach and increases the gastric motility. When the gastric motility increases, it causes the emptying of the food or the emptying of the lipid digested product that is present in the stomach into the small intestine and into the small intestine so here you can see in the small intestine there is present a dietary lipids which give positive feedback to the gut endocrine cells that are secreting the cholecystokinin and the secretin so the dietary lipid is also a stimulator for cholecystokinin and a secretin and in this way it causes the positive feedback to both of these to secrete from the gut cells then this dietary lipid is going through the pathways present in the pancreas bile and liver and this secretin that is secreted from the positive stimuli of the lipids cause the positive feedback to the pancreas to secrete the more secretions which is a bicarbonate base or a sodium or water base so the when secretion of a pancreas increases this sodium bicarbonate and water neutralize the acidity of a chyme coming from the stomach and the pancreas also secrete the pancreatic enzyme which was increased due to the positive stimulus coming from the cholecystokinin so the cholecystokinin caused the increased secretion of the pancreatic enzymes which are necessary for the digestion of a lipid like the lipase amylase cholecystokinase acyl transferase all uh, lipoprotein lipase these all are important for the degradation of lipid coming from the stomach or the ingested food then this secretin causes the pancreatic secretion and the bicarbonate secretion so secretion from the pancreas is also necessary for the digestion of the lipid then it also causes the positive feedback that is a cholecystokinin also causes the positive feedback on the gallbladder to secrete the secretion of the bile. When the secretion of the bile get increased, it has the bile salts and bile pigments. And the bile salts are very necessary for the neutralizing and the digestion of cholesterol. Cholesterol. Because the cholesterol get accumulated or emulsified into small droplets and easily digestible or absorbable from the bile salts action. So the gallbladder increases secretion of bile due to the positive stimulus given from the cholecystokinin that is released from the gut cell. So in this way this cholecystokinin and the secreting cause the secretion of all the organs or all the pancreatic secretion, bile secretion or the gut secretion to increase in amount and in this way these secretion ultimately cause the digestion and the absorption of the dietary lipids in the diet and then ultimately the dietary lipid get degraded in their pathway and get absorbed. So this is a normal mechanism which is going in our body when we take the any lipid type food. Now I will gonna discuss the abnormal type or the possible causes of the steatoria. First we have to understand what is the steatoria. A steatoria is a condition in which there is a stool of a fout, firstly or a folly or a smelly or very dirty type of colored stool in which which is not when the lipid are not absorbed in our body they get the smelly or a so, uh, musty mouldy colored stool which is very 
thick in its consistency and it does not get uh, not get flush easily so the that type of stool or that type of feces is called as a steatoria in which there is a excess lipid in the feces so this is a condition or you can call it as a disorder of many diseases so how this occur the steatoria occur due to the dietary lipid not absorbed in the body so when the lipid coming from the stomach into the small intestine and then this dietary lipid going through all the pathway the secretions from the bile are blocked because the liver is not secreting the bile or any obstruction in the gall bladder or the bile duct so the bile secretion gets absorbed uh, get stopped so the bile salts are not present and that's why the cholesterol or the lipid get not emulsify or do not come into small droplets to be absorbed so that's why the function get disturbed and the no emulsification of the tag occur then the pancreatic secretion got lost and the pancreatic secreting cells got lost or any there is a cancer or carcinoma in their cells so the pancreatic secretion is lost so also called as steatoria or when there is a intestinal mucosal cell what are the intestinal mucosal cell they are the mucus secreting cells that secrete the mucus to increase the fluidity or increase the passage for the stool or the any content of the chyme passing from the stomach to the duodenum so they are also defective that's called as steatoria so they are the main reasons for the steatoria in the body when there is a, any decrease in the bile secretion it can cause the steatoria decrease in the pancreatic secretion of the pancreatic juice called the steat cause the steatoria all the defective mucosal cells or the defective cells that are secreting the cholecystokinin and the secretin so that's why they are not acting on the bile uh, they are not acting on the lipid or the cholesterol that is coming from the ingested food so the lipid does not get emulsified or does not get absorbed or digested so they occur in the stool and the stool become uh, stool become dark and smelly and this condition is called as a steatoria so this is a abnormal mechanism if that any of these organs get damaged or there is a carcinoma of these organs or any other condition in which the steatoria occur thank you for watching our video